Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Teresa. This is Lost My Thread. I am back, finally, with a new Clash of the Pattern series. This time, it is the epic wrap dress battle. Way too long since I have made a Clash of the Patterns video, especially considering that they are one of my favorite videos to make and I know that you guys love them too. If you are not familiar with my Clash of the Patterns series, I will put a link to the playlist up here and down in the description box, description box down below as well so that you can check out my previous Clash of the Patterns videos. But essentially the idea is that I will take multiple patterns to create the same style of garment and then I will put them up against each other in different rounds and decide which one I like the best. In the past I have done button up shirts for different bust cup options, t-shirts for different bust cup options, I have done overalls or dungarees, I've done fitted trousers, I have done sweatpants, I feel like I'm missing something, if I am I'll put it up on the screen but that might be everything. But it is really fun for me to be able to see the difference between these different types of patterns. I will typically break it up into different videos where I'm looking at different elements of these patterns. So today is more of just an introduction. I wanna tell you about the patterns that I've chosen and why. And I also wanna share the fabric that I'm choosing for each of the garments. Now this time round, I am gonna be making something that I have been wanting to get in my wardrobe for some time, which is a knit wrap dress. So I have some woven wrap dresses, I do like them, but a knit wrap dress is something that I have not had for many years in my wardrobe. When I've had them before, I really enjoyed wearing them, but I have struggled to get a wrap style top or dress that fits me well, that doesn't reveal too much, that definitely is gonna stay closed. So I feel like there's gonna be some interesting challenges and I'll be curious to see which of the patterns comes out on top. Now all of these are designed to be made with knit, jersey, stretchy fabrics. They are all a proper wrap style dress. They properly wrap around you. One of them is a little bit iffy, but I will get to that one when I talk about it. The three patterns that I've chosen are the Olivia wrap dress from Named Clothing, the Wanda wrap dress from Wardrobe by Me, and the Westcliff dress by Friday Pattern Company. They're all a fairly similar price, I would say, being indie patterns. There's not a huge difference between them. The size range, I would say, is fairly good for all of them. I don't think they're all phenomenal. The Olivia wrap dress from Name Clothing goes from a 30 and a half inch bust up to a 53 and a 3 eighth inch bust. I'm giving the bust measurement for all these because that is the area that really needs to fit the most. There's a fair bit of ease into the hip of each of these, so I think there's a bit more flexibility there. The Westcliff dress by Friday Pattern Company comes from a 32 inch bust to a 54 inch bust. And the Wanda Wrap dress by Wardrobe by Me is made with a 30 inch up to a 50 inch bust measurement. I'll put the full measurements down in the description box, but just to give you a bit of a broad idea if this is something that might be in your size range, I will say in general, these are definitely more different than they are similar. So what I'm gonna do is just pick through different elements of the garments to talk about what I like and what drew me to these particular patterns. Now, one of the most important things when I'm thinking about wearing a wrap dress is I wanna make sure that I have good coverage where I need it. So certainly across the bust, I don't want anything gaping, anything too low, anything too loose, but also where the wrap crosses over for the skirt section, I don't want anything to be opening up when I sit down, I don't wanna reveal more than I intend to. So these are some really key elements, but I'm gonna start by talking about the differences between the necklines between these patterns. The Olivia wrap dress by Name Clothing has quite a thick band that goes around the neckline. This actually reminds me of the Sirocco jumpsuit by Deer and Doe. It has a very similar thick neck band that's a bit tighter than the actual rest of the neckline, which means that it pulls it a bit and helps it to sit a bit flatter. Now, supposedly, this is meant to reduce gaping. That is the intention of this thicker neck band. So for me, that feels promising, and I'm hoping that it will sit nice and flat and it will not be opening up when it's not meant to. The Westcliff dress by Friday Pattern Company promises full coverage and a neckline that won't gape. 
All this has to be in air quotes because I don't know how sure they can be about that, but that is their intention, which at least is something, right? Like that's, that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm hoping for with my neckline. Around their neckline, they have a thinner band. Again, I imagine it will be shorter. You'll have to ease that in so that it will hopefully sit a little bit flatter against the bust. The Wanda wrap dress is a fully lined bodice. There's no extra seams here, which is a nice neat finish and it claims to hug the chest. So again, where it's supposed to be all of these not having any extra gaping, they're supposed to sit nice and flat against the chest. We'll see how it goes in practice. As far as fit across the bust, I feel like this is one of my bigger challenges because I have a four inch difference between my high bust and my full bust, which typically puts me in like a D cup, D sewing cup size. And most patterns are designed for a B size sewing cup. That is definitely the case for the Olivia wrap dress, though with stretch, especially if you have fabric with a decent amount of stretch, often you can get away with it, but you just need to be a little bit careful because you can get pulling and drag lines where you don't intend to. The Wanda wrap dress by Wardra by me claims to accommodate a B to an E bust cup, but they don't give you different options for printing out. So I think they're just talking about from the stretch, which is a little bit makes me uneasy, let's just say that. I'm not entirely sure that a wrap style dress can do that, but maybe with knits there's a little bit more flexibility. I will be contacting the pattern designer to get their ideas about which size I should start with though, whether I should be aiming for something that's gonna fit my high bust and then stretches to my full bust, or if I just start with my full bust measurement, expecting that the top section might have a little bit more negative ease and sit flatter against the body. I feel like that's not entirely obvious and clear and I would have appreciated if they would have given more of a guide of what size to pick if it's supposed to accommodate all these different bust cup sizes. The Westcliff dress is the only one that actually does come in different bust cup sizes. So it has either a B cup size or a D cup size. So depending on if you have a two inch or a four inch difference between your high and your full bust. Obviously, if you're somewhere in between or smaller or bigger, you might need to make additional adjustments, but it definitely works really well for me and I feel a little bit more confident that I'll be able to get a good fit across the bust with this particular pattern. The Westcliff dress also has a front yoke with a gathered section underneath, which is a really pretty vintagey kind of look, and I feel like that really suits the short sleeve. The Olivia wrap dress has a longer sleeve. Now I will say it's a little bit difficult for me to tell from the actual photos of this pattern. It looks like it's more of a bracelet length and I think most people have been extending it either to a full like full length or just a three quarter length. And I could honestly go either way for this one. The Wanda wrap dress though has many options. So this one has a full length sleeve, three quarter sleeve, short sleeve, or a sleeveless option. So definitely happy to get all those options in one pattern always a bonus when you can make different versions and they will look completely different from each other. Now in my experience of wearing and researching wrap dresses, the majority of wrap dresses get their waist shaping just from the ties that go around the waist. So then you can pull those in and that will just accentuate your curves a bit more if you're wanting to go more in at the waist. That is the case with the Westcliff dress and with the Wanda wrap dress, but the Olivia wrap dress by Name Clothing actually has some pleats at the front of the waist as well, which give you a little bit of nice shaping and then I think just a little bit more coverage across the tummy, just a little bit of extra fullness, which I think would accentuate a fuller tummy a bit less, which is a bonus. The other thing I will say with the Olivia wrap dress is it is the only pattern that has pockets. It has inseam pockets, the other ones don't. I think it is just to do with generally like the shape of a wrap dress is usually quite sleek. Now, I obviously can add pockets to any dress if I want to, but with this series, I really wanna make the patterns as designed. So the Olivia wrap dress definitely gets some bonus points having some pockets because who doesn't need pockets? But I may end up feeling like it adds a little bit too much bulk in the hip area. So you never know until I actually make it up. Now, I think the skirt sections is really what sets these apart the most. The Wanda wrap dress by Wardrobe by Me is more, I would say, looks like a typical wrap style dress that I would expect. It does have a lot of fullness at the bottom though. So it's fitted at the waist, but it has a six gore skirt, which means the bottom is gonna have maximum volume, maximum swish factor, and hopefully really good coverage of wrapping over the front as well. The Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress is definitely a little bit more of a cheat. The skirt is not a wrap. 
So I said I wanted proper wrap style dresses, but the reason I'm letting this one squeak in there is because the top section is a genuine wrap. And that for me is really what I wanted to be able to really cinch it in at the waist to get like a real proper wrap style. But the skirt section is just a skirt attached onto the wrap top. There is a version that finishes just above the knee and there's another one where you add a gathered tier to make it more of a maxi length. I think both are really beautiful, but I feel like obviously you're going to have full coverage because it's not really a wrap style skirt, but I like that you're still getting the proper wrap element going around the top. Like I said, I know it's a bit of a little sneaky one to get in there, but I feel like it counts enough as a proper wrap style for me to include it in this. The Olivia wrap dress by Name Clothing is a really beautiful tulip style shape. So it goes out at the hip and then it goes in again towards the bottom of the dress, which finishes just below the knee. I feel like this is just such a beautiful, feminine, elegant style. I'm really excited about getting this one sewn up and I feel like this is definitely probably the most professional looking. I could very much see myself feeling very proper dressed up going to work wearing this dress and I feel like it would just be also a really nice one to wear out for any occasion. I feel like both the Wanda Wrap dress and the West Cliff dress are just a little bit more on the casual side. They're by no means like super sloppy or anything like that but I feel they're just a little bit more day to day. Now I have three quite different jersey fabrics that I'm going to pair with these patterns and I'm not 100% sure on which one's going with which. I have a pretty good idea but if you have any strong feelings please do let me know. The first one is this fabric. It is an African print lycra spandex fabric that I got from Diligent Hands Fabrics. The print on it is phenomenal. The colors are amazing. It has really great stretch and recovery in both directions. It stretches really well. It doesn't really change the color when you stretch it, but obviously it will distort the image somewhat. This one is definitely on the lighter weight side. It has a really beautiful drape to it. I feel like it would be just so nice for a wrap and I'm excited to get a dress sewn up in this. I've been sitting on this fabric for a while and I feel like this is the perfect time to use it. I also have this cotton jersey fabric that I got from a D stash from Sew Do It Emma. It's a black background with a watercolor style floral print on top. I think the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. This is a little bit thicker, a little bit warmer, so I would say I'm leaning more towards something with a slightly longer sleeve with this one, but I feel like it would work really for any of the styles. It's really nice and soft. I will say this one I need to be a bit more careful because when I stretch it, it does pale a little bit, so I wanna make sure that nothing's gonna be stretching too much as I wear it, but I feel like this is just so gorgeous. I feel like it would work really for any dress, but definitely a good option for a wrap dress. And finally, I have this clementine colored Tencel Modal jersey, which is just such a beautiful type of fabric. It is super duper soft. It feels really wonderful against the skin. I know from experience, this is also really good as far as like moisture wicking. So it's gonna keep you generally cool if you're someone who tends to go a little bit hot. It has really wonderful drape to it. It's a little bit heavier than the Lycra spandex, which means that it really kind of hangs and swishes and moves really well. And I feel like this kind of drape and this kind of movement, it really would work well for any style of wrap dress. So I'm gonna have a bit of a hard time deciding which one to pair with which pattern. I feel like I've picked three very different but all very beautiful wrap style dresses and I am really looking forward to getting them sewn up and in my wardrobe. I would love to hear your thoughts about the patterns that I've picked and the fabrics that I'm pairing with them. Please tell me as well if you think there is one that stands out that you think I'm really gonna love because I really have no clue at this point. I'm hoping I'm gonna love them all but there will obviously be one full proper winner. In video two of this series, I'm gonna be talking about the instructions, the construction method, what the finish is like on the inside. In the third part of this series, I will be talking about the fit, the shape, the silhouette, how well I can get these to fit my unique body, especially considering that I will be reaching out to pattern designers if I feel like I'm unsure which size to pick. And then in the fourth part of the series, you will get the big reveal. You will get to see me in all three of these wrap dresses. And I will tell you which one I think is the winner of this epic wrap dress battle.
I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was so much fun to be able to make one of these again. Please do give me a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you want to see where this series goes or if you want to see any more of my future videos. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!